And now Jeff's going to show us the metal polish. Here we go. We're going to simulate if you had your wheels or your stainless steel scuffed. Uh, say you hit a curb, got a little rash, or someone's purse or something dragged along your stainless. So what we're going to do first is just take a few marks here, scratch this up a little bit. We're going to scratch this a little bit. So it's just like someone hit it, or you stepped on your wheels, or you had a rock on it. What we do, first of all, is we use our power metal polish, which is the very aggressive one, with our Powerball MD, which is the yellow one. So you take a little bit on there, rub it on the wheel, just like that. You can put a little bit on the stainless. Take this, medium speed. You don't have to use a high speed or a lot of pressure. You can take that, polish this out, work it nice and, nice and easy back and forth. Take your microfiber towel, take one wipe, wipes off the majority of it, polish it back to a shine. Still going to leave a little haziness and roughness because this is a rough cutting polish. We're going to take that, switch our power ball to our finished power ball. We're going to use our billet polish that we have. Very nice. The billet polish breaks down as you polish, makes it even shinier. Now that aluminum, we're going to take a little bit on this ball. We're going to polish this up. Take that and polish it. Finish it up. Always use your microfiber towel. One nice wipe. You can take this and polish it to a finish. If there's still a little bit of a scratch left, you can take this back, reply some of it, go back over it. Sometimes it takes once or twice to get the finish, that your desired finish that you're looking for. You don't have to press hard. I'm just using two fingers to stabilize the wand on the power ball. Take your microfiber towel, take a wipe, take it to a nice, beautiful, brilliant shine. Then on our stainless steel that we have here, you do the same thing. Go back, use your Powerball MD, put it on your drill, work your stainless. You're going to polish that stainless steel really, really nice. Bring that up to almost a chrome shine. Work that back and forth like that. Take your Powerball, take your microfiber, take one wipe, turn it over, polish that to a shine. Now we're going to finish this up with our finishing power ball. We're going to use our billet polish again. Put a little bit on there. Once the ball is seasoned, you won't need as much polish. Polish that up. Again, you can see I'm not pressing. I'm just using two fingers on the wand to, to stabilize it. That gives me a lot better control. Polish that. Take this, take your microfiber towel again, take a wipe, polish that to a finished beautiful luster shine. Then if you see some more rashing or it didn't quite get where you needed to, always go back to your stage one, repolish. Sometimes it does take a couple times to get where your desired shine is. You can work this up. Works a long way. You can do probably about half a wheel at a time. Take it again. Always use a microfiber. Wipe. Bring to a nice shine. Then you take your, your finishing power ball along with your billet polish. Put a little bit on. It'll go to your desired finish. Get that edge. Make sure you get all the edges real nice and even. So you have a very nice even shine. Take your microfiber. Take that and polish that to a finish. Now look at that chrome. Look at that. It looks almost like chrome. That gives you our 
That gives you our power ball with the power metal and with our billet polish. If the wheels aren't really bad or your steering wheel isn't really bad, most of the time your billet polish will do everything that you need. For your extreme cases, start with this one, finish with this one. It's really easy. This product and this product with the yellow balls go together. You finish that up with your with your billet polish and your red ones. Whether you use the power ball or whether you use our power cone, they work just the same for finishing and getting into your lug nuts and all your tighter areas. Let's even do a little demo and show you that. Again, a dab will do you. You don't need a lot. You can put it in here. You can work it in here. Work that cone really nice. The cone allows you to get into your tighter areas down in here where the ball wouldn't. Polish that up. You can go in here into your lug slots. Clean up your lugs, take them, and the cone goes under there real nice and fits into there real nice and clean. Again, always use your microfiber towel. Take one wipe, take a wipe there, go over that, flip it over, and then polish it to a really nice, beautiful luster. Gets all the edges, gets the hole, gets it all nice and clean. And now you fixed your wheel from bumping the curb.